Shalom. I want to give a praise on God. He help us. Shemahu Shaba. Shemaka Kadash. And double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Most. Only talking the truth and peace. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And, um, yeah, literally, I saw the video that the elder Amawana Bad posted about Revelation 7 and 9. And yeah, man, I, I thought I'd basically do a lesson on that, man. <clears throat> but um, yeah, let's get reading. Revelation 7 and 9 it says, And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. <laughs> and you see. <laughs> this is going into the Israelite foreigners. The Israelites have been scattered abroad due to the Atlantic slave trade. And they've been growing up in the lands where they've been scattered. And before they came into the truth, they were thinking themselves to be of that nation they were scattered amongst. But really, their bloodline goes back to... Abram, Isaac, and Jacob, and that's the quicker way of um, basically sh saying the lineage of the sons of God, instead of going from Adam all the way down to Enoch, Eber, Seth, Abram, Isaac, and Jacob is the quicker way, <clears throat> but yeah, also like it makes mention, um, lost sheep, the house. Matthew 10 and 5, it says, These twelve Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, being the natural Gentiles, being the heathen, or should I say, being the other nations, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And like it makes mention, man. We go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is the Lord's elect of the elect. And they all come from the 12 tribes of Israel. <clears throat> They're also known as um, the saints. And like it makes mention, um. Psalms 148 and 14 says he also exalted the horn and that word horn going into power of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. And yeah, man, <clears throat> as it makes mention, even of the children of Israel, because you got to remember that the Lord has a chosen nation. But inside that chosen nation, there's a chosen people inside that nation, which we know the Lord chose the 12 tribes of Israel. As a whole, yeah, they're the saints. Even the two thirds and those wicked jakes, man. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're even of the saints. Or should I say they're even of the elect, the elect nation. <clears throat> but you gotta remember, man. There's the elect of the elect, the 144,000, which is the ministry of the prophets or the prophets. And then you got the multitude that can't be numbered, which is those Israelites that have been scattered abroad. And some of them also say the majority of them won't look like Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics and Native Americans and Seminole Indians. They're going to look like the nations that were scattered amongst. <clears throat> and let's go to Matthew 24. Oh, 
Oh yeah, let me just search it. Matthew 24 and 31 and it says and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other and the reason why he's going to send his angels to gather his angels so okay, to gather his elect from one end of heaven to the other or like it said the four winds is because the Israelite foreigners have been scattered abroad They've been scattered into these other nations, man. I can miss mentioning Deuteronomy. The Lord was going to scatter the children of Israel, man, among all nations. And their lets have been, their, as they say, the let of the let have been dispersed into these different nations, man. And they're dwelling with those other nations. And the Lord going to gather them out, man. <coughs> Yeah, here we go. Um, let me read Deuteronomy 4 and 27. It says, And the Lord Yahweh, but somehow shall, shall scatter you among the nations, be ye being the children of Israel, man. So they were scattered among the natural Gentiles. And the reason why it talks about the Gentiles basically coming in and being adopted is because. <clears throat> it's because. The Israelites that were scattered, they basically had a gentle like mindset, or those thinking like the heathen. They were basically following um other gods, man, which turned them into Gentiles, man. So let me read it again. And the Lord Yahweh somehow shall shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And like he makes mention as well. And it says, And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, nor eat nor smell. So you see what I mean? They're going to worship other gods in the lands that they're scattered in. They were going to worship the gods of the heathen. And let's see what the scriptures say. First Corinthians 12 and 2, it says, Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. So the Israelites became Gentiles or foreigners because they were following the ways of these other nations that were scattered amongst due to the Atlantic slave trade, man. <clears throat> and that's another thing. How can you be brought back or adopted? To something you was never a part of. The nations, the other nations were never a part of the covenant. And let's see who the Lord spake to, man. Exodus 19 and 5. And it says, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And the word peculiar meaning special. It's like it makes mention in Deuteronomy 7 and 9, I think. <clears throat> you know, let me have a look. I'm sure there's another one on special... Oh no, here it is, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And I could have got, got it in verse, um, in chapter 14 too, but yeah. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it says, For thou art an holy people, and the word holy meaning to be separate. And yeah, man, the Israelites are separate from the other nations, man. We're not like them. And it says, A holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you see what I mean? <laughs> the Israelites are the elect men. They're the sons of God. 
So yeah, let's carry on. Like I was making mention. The other nations think they can be brought back to something they were never a part of. So let's keep reading. And it says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Yes, the sons of God. So, if it was said to the children of Israel, they're going to be a kingdom of priests. Then the ones who are going to be adopted back are Israelites, because like it may mention, the Israelites were scattered and then it's like the Israelites were scattered among the other nations and there they became Gentiles. <clears throat> when I say Gentiles, I mean like a Gentile mindset. They were following the customs and the ways of the other nations they were scattered amongst. And like it also makes mention, man. Jeremiah. And this is prophecy right here. Let's find, let's find out what this um this new deliverance is. And and let's let's see, man. Jeremiah 16 and 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yehovah Shem Shai, that it shall no more be said. The Lord Yehovah Shem Shai liveth now brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And yeah, like it may mention in Exodus, man. Being that deliverance, that's that's going to that. That first major deliverance, man. So, Jeremiah is saying, that won't even be talked about anymore. It says, but the Lord Yehovah Hashem HaShem live that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north, being North America, which the majority of the Israelites were brought over there, and the rest were scattered. Hence why, in, um, when he talks about the angels gathering their let, he talks about the four winds. And from one part of heaven to the other. Why? Because the elect of the elect have been scattered all over the earth, man. <clears throat> and it says, and from all the lands, whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into the land that I gave unto their fathers. So you see, the elect of the elect were scattered into these other lands where the other nations were, man. And that was due to the Atlantic slave trade. And like it also makes mention. So we turn and two, it says, For he do a scourge on mercy, and he live down to hell, being Taurus, captivity, and bring it up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, yeah, being the other nations, ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us among them. So you see, the ones that are going to be gathered are Israelites. And it says, there declares greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord and he is the God our Father forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he have scattered us. So you see, so when he talks about, um, what was it again? Revelation 7 and 9. Where it talks about the multitude that come out of all these nations. It was the Israelites that were scattered among those nations. Being the elect of the elect. And also let me get... um, Let me get this expedient. Hopefully I can spell it right. Yeah, John 11 and 50. It says, No consider that is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. Yeah, being the Lord Yahweh Shai, the Lamb. And the reason why he has a tie of the Lamb is because the Lamb is a sacrificial animal. It's just, it's, it was just be sacrificed to atone for your sins. And Yahweh Shai was the perfect Lamb. And that's why, through his sacrifice, we're able to 
basically come back to Yahweh man through Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and it says, and he spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh Shai should die for that nation. So you see, for that nation. And like it says, man, there's no S. So it's it's not talking about multiple nations. It's talking about one nation, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, man. And it says, and for not and and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Yes, being those Israelite foreigners, man. Literally, there's a whole load of them in these different lands. Why? Because the Lord led them there. Why? Because of their iniquity, man. And there, they became as the nations they were scattered amongst, as the heathen, man. Why? Because they were following their gods. And let's get James 1 and 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. <laughs> Greeting. So there you go, man. It was the twelve tribes that he's talking about. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> and you can even go to um, is it the day of the Pentecost? Yeah, here we go, Acts 2. And this is, an, this is an example of what the Lord is going to do in today's age, man. When he's going to deliver all those Israelites that are scattered among the other nations, man. This is this is an example of um, Israelites being brought up in um, different cultures and in different lands. <clears throat> and following the ways of the people that were scattered amongst and um let me start at five it says and there were dwelling at jerusalem jews devout men of every nation under heaven and like the scripture may mention man the lord was going to scatter the israelites among all nations and like it also may mention man he's going to gather the israelites from out of all nations <clears throat> And it says, now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So yeah, man, just imagine all these different nations that are on the earth. Imagine the Israelites that have been scattered there, they speak these different languages. And then the come out, the come in front of the prophets and the prophets are speaking. And each one of them can hear what the... Prophets are saying in their own language, man. So imagine um, there was someone from Japan who was living in Japan. Or should I say an Israelite that was scattered in Japan. Or should I say Israelites that were scattered in Japan, scattered in China, scattered in India, scattered in, um, in Italy, scattered in um, Germany, scattered in um, Russia. Just, just imagine them all coming together. Or even... Um, in the so-called Middle East, in those Eastern countries like Iran, um, Saudi Arabia, um, what else is there? Algeria. So just imagine all those Israelites basically coming out of those lands and coming towards the prophets. And the prophets are speaking and they're all hearing the prophets' words in their own language, which that was by way of the Holy Spirit, man. That was a miracle. And it says, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying, one to another, behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? So, yeah, man, for, for an example, imagine um, I was speaking to an Israelite that was scattered in um, China. And then um, there was another Israelite scattered in, um, hmm, in um, Russia. And I'm talking to both of them. And <laughs> they can understand what I'm saying. And they're looking at each other thinking, wait, this guy speaks Russian. And the Russian, the, the Russian Israelites is like, this guy speaks Chinese. 
actually i think i said japan but um yeah this 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 of um this this israelite that's been scattered in japan speaks japanese and they're looking at each other thinking how can we understand what tazar is saying and then they basically asked us and they basically asked me wait don't you speak english are you from england <laughs> And that's basically the same thing that's happening here. <clears throat> and it says, And how hear we, every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? So you see, those Israelites that were there, and they spoke these different languages that they were, um, basically, uh, they, spoke, they spoke the language or the native tongue of the land they were scattered in. So like it makes mention, Periphians, and Medes, and Elamites, and dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Pythagora, and Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene, and the strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Crete and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongue, in our tongues, the wonderful works of God. So you see, those Israelites that were scattered in all those lands, they heard the prophets basically prophesy or basically um, speak and they heard their words in their own languages where they were basically scattered to. So all these, all these nations that were made mention of, also say all these countries that were made mention of, literally it was Israelites that were scattered there. Man. They, were, they were living in these different... In these different lands, man. And the Lord gonna gather them. And another thing that does that does proves um every Israelite or what shall I say the Israelite foreigners aren't going to be so called Negro, Latino, Hispanic and Native American and Simno Indian. They're going to be looking like the other nations where they were scattered. Cause let's get it again. Deuteronomy 4 and 27, it says, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left for your number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. So yeah, the Lord was going to lead <clears throat> the Tartars of Israel into these different lands among the other nations, being the natural Gentiles. And there, like it made mention, they're going to serve the, 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 the heathen's godsmen. And that's how they became Gentiles. Because they were serving the other gods. And those are the and that's how um the Gentiles are going to be adopted. And when I say the Gentiles being adopted, I mean the Israelites that have a Gentile like mindset, that think themselves to be of another nation when they're not. And you know I can read um Deuteronomy 30 and 3. It says that then the Lord Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations wherever the Lord thy God have scattered thee. So yeah, like I made mention of um, the Arabians, the Elamites, um, Asia, um, Pamphylia, Egypt, all, all these different lands, man. The Israelites have been scattered everywhere and they're going to come out of these different countries, man. <clears throat> and yeah, man, that's, that's that's basically it for um the lesson. Well, yeah, I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Shem Ha'Oshai, Shemrakah Kadash, and Shalom.